What's going on internet? Iron Jordan here. So today I'm really excited to bring you a deck that I have been working on for a little bit but now that it's getting more support and now that one of the cards in particular in this deck is much cheaper it's going to be much more accessible for a lot of people myself included to play this version of Frieza's Army. So I have been a big fan of Frieza uh, Lemon Lime since Aiden Azir first topped with it a uh, little over a year ago when the uh, SS Broly All Out Assault card came out and was just a powerhouse for the deck. And the deck has been, you know, consistently pretty playable, even if it hasn't been, you know, like tier or anything like that. But I've loved this deck so much that I have been looking for something to make it slightly more competitive, and I think that we have stumbled across the build to do it. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump in. So Golden Frieza, this is a set one leader. This is still probably the best and really the only playable set one leader. Yes, Starter Who exists, but only in his reboot form is he really competitive. This leader is the only leader that has stood the test of time just because it does so much. If you don't know what this leader does, on his front side, he has an activate main. You place one of your Frieza's army cards in your drop area to restand an energy and draw a card. There's no limit to, like, what color energy it is. It doesn't just untap yellow energy or, or anything like that, which is why this list has really, you know, shifted into green since I think it was, like, set six we started to get green Freeze's army stuff, or maybe it was set four, set five. I can't quite remember. But, uh, yeah, it's very, very good. And then he has the uh, Awaken of when you're at four life, you draw two. So this card has an insane Awaken turn. We can draw a card off your activate main on the front, Awaken, draw two more cards, so you're up to three. You can attack with the card on the back side, get the draw, draw four, and then you get a fifth draw from the activate main on the back side because it's a separate ability from the activate main on the front side. So you can, on your awakening turn, draw five cards and untap three energy. And if that sounds good to you, it's because it is. <laughs> Obviously, on the back side, he does the same thing, except for instead of untapping one energy, he untaps two. And then when he attacks, he draws a card. So you just go super plus in this deck. Uh, so this deck has actually historically had a hard time, you know, keeping its deck high enough to not get decked out by stuff like Janimba. And with the new uh, black Sin Shinron leader coming out, it might be an issue. So we are playing 60 cards, which is actually really good because it gives us uh, enough room to play all of our Frieza army stuff to make sure that our engine works with our leader and to play a secondary red ribbon army green yellow android arrival successor engine it's gonna be so sweet this deck has been so fun to build and to theory craft and the little bit of testing that i've done with it so far has been so fun i love this deck so much very powerful turn to awaken very consistently and then just get the ball rolling with big super six and seven drop threats or you know four drops that discard a card from your opponent and then you just cap it all off with cell zeno which is <laughs> errata now but still very good in this deck because you are going to five energy guaranteed every time so let's start with the deck profile if you can't tell i i really love this deck first we have july she is a frieza army card that is a one drop green that draws a card this is why we play this card that's why uh, Infernal Emperor Frieza. This card is the god card in your uh, going first hand, especially if you have a yellow energy and a Frieza's Call. Because you activate Frieza's Call, you get the Frieza Militia Streak, you play it off the Frieza's Call, you pop it off your leader's ability, you take a life, you play the Infernal Emperor Frieza, and then you take another life. So you take two life on turn one. You went plus two, I think, because you draw a card off the leader's effect. It's insane. And you only used one card to do that. Nuts, right? So this is a mandatory though. Uh, it's actually not, I'm sorry, it's not a mandatory. I thought I always thought this card was mandatory. So when you play this card, you take a life, not mandatory, even better, super good. Dodoria, thank God we have a Frieza's Army green or yellow card that is a double strike combo. So good. This card is excellent when you're going second on turn one. You can go into the Frieza, you can uh, take a life, pop it with the Frieza ability, then restand the energy, play the Dodoria, get a double strike. You're doing four damage on turn one when you count your leader swing. This is just super good. Tagoma, he's here because he is a yellow Frieza's army card that draws a card. The other stuff does not matter. I guess it technically could matter if you're playing against, like, I don't know, uh, Turles or something, but it doesn't matter. Frieza, same stuff, different day. Uh, this is a yellow Frieza's army, two drop or less, that is a negate. It's a searchable negate, so this is what we play. We already play a lot of cards that can't be comboed very easily, like these multicolored cards and all this other stuff. Uh, so we want to have a negate that's on a body. Uh, this is very, very good. 
uh, because you can negate it, and if it survives, you can pop it to use it for advantage. Super good. Freeze's Call, best card in the deck. Obviously, most of the time you're going to use it to grab Freeze and Malicious Streak, but after you are done with Awakening and you don't need this anymore, we have the Zarbons that you can use. So you can Freeze's Call into a Zarbon to go plus one on energy, draw a card, and make your opponent discard a card. It's just a very good card in this deck. Cold Bloodlust, no introduction needed. This is just the best card in the game. You play it because it's at one. Four, Avenging Frieza. This card gets less and less good as you play fewer and fewer Frieza's army cards. However, we are still playing 4, 8, 12, 16, 24, 26, 34 Frieza's army. So over half your deck is a Frieza's army card. So statistically, you should never miss on this card. You will every once in a while, but it's fine. It's honestly fine. We already talked about the Zarbon, just super good. The first new card we need to talk about, though, is Android 14 and Android 15 Target Acquired. The reason why this card is in the deck is because if your leader card is yellow or an Android card, which our leader is yellow, you can reduce the combo cost of this card in your hand by one. That's active on turn one. So all these arrival cards that we've got, we've got four Krillin and 18. We've got four Android 13. We've got four SS Broly. These cards you don't have to pay energy for to combo, and you don't have to waste your Freeze's Army cards, which is what the deck used to do. Uh, used to rip a lot of cards out of your hand, rip a lot of cards off your field to combo into the Broly. Now you no longer have to do that. Very, very solid. Frieza Malicious Streak, this is the best turn one card in the deck if you can get it off Frieza's Call. When this card is placed in a drop area from a battle area, you may choose one card in your life and add it to your hand. If you do, choose one Frieza card from your hand when energy cost of two or less other than this card in play. So, obviously, what you want to do with this is make sure you have an Avenging Frieza or an Infernal Emperor Frieza on turn one. You can go into the Malicious Streak. You can pop it off your leader. You take a life. You play the Infernal Emperor. You take another life. Or you go into the Avenging Frieza. Look top three. You get another card. Super good. Super, super good. And you'll have the energy uh, untapped from the Frieza ability. Very, very good. Dodoria, the Emperor's Attendant. This is just the super combo that you'll always play unless they print another good... Uh, two drop or less Frieza's army super combo because this is searchable off of Avenging Frieza. So yeah, on top of that, the deck is kind of hard skewed into green now, as you can see for combo power. And so it's very good to have your super combo be a, a yellow card. Just super, super good. Android 13, the mission begins. Now this card will go down uh, in number because we are going to be playing the new one from set 14 so there will not be four in this deck whenever it you know whenever set 14 comes out but for right now four of this is completely fine uh at the start of your opponent's turn they choose two of their battle cards and ko it it has a rival green yellow for green and activate main pay one send this card from your drop area to warp choose one of your opponent's battle cards and energy cost three or less and ko it super good the reason why we don't want to play four is because it has unique so while this is a very good arrival target uh, we want to play Android 13 Cybernetic Onslaught. This is a uh, rare coming out in the new uh, booster box. It is a rival green yellow for a yellow, which is the only card in our deck that arrivals for only a yellow. Uh, it is has the same permanent as all the other cards that combo. Uh, so if your leader card is yellow, uh, you have to reduce uh, the combo cost by one. And then activate battle once per turn, choose up to one green or yellow. Android card in your combo area gets plus 5k combo power for the battle. So this is just another good arrival target. On top of that is another essentially green-yellow combo for free. So uh, that's why we want to play that guy instead. Android uh, 18 and Krillin Power Couple. Uh, we're mostly playing this for the uh, discard effect, but the keyword skill is also uh, very, very important because you can take away like big triple strikes and stuff like that from your opponent. It just gives this deck a lot more defense than it has. And speaking of defense, the uber defense threat himself, Super Saiyan Broly All Out Assault. So it arrivals for a green and a yellow. However, when you play this card or when this uh, card is switched to active mode by a skill during your turn, which is not probably not going to be, choose one battle card with an energy cost greater than or equal to your opponent's current energy KO it. It's just super good defensive, uh, defensively. For if your opponent is going for gain with something that's really big and doesn't have barrier, or you can draw one card, then choose up to one of your opponent's cards and switch it to rest mode. Anything. This hits their leader, this hits their energy. This card is just super, super good. So play this card. Next, we have Super Android 13, Cores of the Trio. It has the same permanent for being able to combo for free, which is very, very nice. But it also has a Deflect and Triple Attack and Successor for two. So if you have a Super Saiyan Broly and a one drop out on the field, you can successor this card out for two after this card's already swung. And then you get three 30k attacks. Yeah, there's single strike, but it's triple attack <laughs> with deflect. It's just super, super good. 
And then the big daddy to top it all off sells in an unspeakable abomination. This card no longer has quad strike natively. You have to play it on turn five or with five energy. I'm sorry to get the quad strike as well as the dual attack. However, you will usually go to turn five on this turn because it's very defensive. It draws a lot of cards. It puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, but it still keeps a big hand and it's just super fun to play. So you are, or you could just play this early for a big 40k beater. Like, what do you want from it? It's super good. It always has deflect, so they're not going to be able to stop it. <laughs> but yeah, this is the deck. This has been very, very fun. It is mostly commons, uncommons. There's one SR in this deck that you're only going to play two of when set 14 comes out. And then the secret rare that you honestly do not even really have to play if you don't want to. You can play Foo Shrouded if you really want. Although, because that, that's what the, the finisher for this deck used to be until Selzeno came out. But you could play Foo, Foo Shrouded if you want. You could play, like, there's so many different things that you can play in this deck to just ensure your victory by turn five. Uh, this is just the most consistent one. So if you have a Cell Zeno, congratulations. Or if you're looking at a Cell Zeno, congratulations. Uh, this is the deck for it. And uh, boy, is this fun. Like I said, 60 cards. This is mostly, this is mostly because uh, we don't want to draw out. I've had a lot of games where this deck where I draw out only playing 50 cards and it is very suboptimal you still have so you have so much draw power in this deck that you don't mind you the only card in this deck that requires you to like find pieces is avenging frieza it'll miss every once in a while but like i said it, this is gonna miss like 10 percent of the time maybe in all my test games with this deck being cc cards i've missed one time total with this so take that for what you will but i think this is the new version of frieza's army frieza's red ribbon army uh, very excited for you guys to tell me what you think about this because this deck seems really, really fun and it has been a blast to theorycraft and put together and play a little bit with. So I'm going to stop wasting your time. Thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.